What's up guys, this is Agrikai here bringing you a review of the latest Katniss Everdeen from the Catching Fire line of NECA's Toys latest action figures. Here we have uh, Jennifer Lawrence represented in the latest film in her new gear that she wears in the uh, movie. And it's uh, pretty cool and pretty sleek. Not a lot of articulation going on here, but we have a cool amount of detail and a nice sculpt going on. So for any Hunger Games fan, um, this will fulfill your needs of wanting a mini, mini little cat in this figure on your computer or whatever on your bookshelf. But without further ado, let's get into this review. So first, we're going to have a look at the head sculpt here. Um, you can definitely see a resemblance to Jennifer Lawrence. Um, I believe that the sculpt is there, but the paint application kind of messes it up a bit, unfortunately. So You can see that her eyes are slightly crooked. That's the paint application problem. Um, you can see she has the big cheekbones and, and the kind of those... Uh, those perky lips a bit. So there's definitely the qualities of Jennifer Lawrence. Like we have a good profile here. Um, another good profile here. Um, I think it's just the paint application that kind of messes up the likeness to be a hundred percent. And yeah, that's a, that's about it. With the hair, we always have a nice sculpt from NECA when it comes to hair. We have the uh, famous Katniss breed. Uh, really cool with this uh, soft rubber here and the bladed soft rubber as well and she just looks a tad bit too pale um, but she has a nice uh, they give her like rosy cheeks and it's a nice clean gradation from red to the light flesh so let's take a look at the uh, the body here um, I think this is a really good uh, body sculpt it's really sleek the pattern in the chest and the back and the side here is just really amazing. It has a nice metallic feel to it with that uh, like honeycomb pattern going on and it looks really great. You can see um, also here we have the honeycomb pattern that fades into the upper shoulder. Here's the uh, zipper for the suit. It comes all the way down. Really awesome. The uh, little wrinkles and folds there it folds under the armpit really really cool so let's take a look at the lower part here so she's standing in this uh, this pose where she's leaning on one leg for you artists out there it's called the contrapasto pose where all the weight is on one leg Once again, nice sculpt, nice folds here and here. Really cool. I mean, like, you, there's no articulation here. You can see it's just like a, a statue. But this metallic little finish looks great. The metallic stripe going here looks great as well. Let's take a look at the uh, boot here. Looks like she's wearing some uh, some Adidas. Pretty funny. Just the shoelaces, nice detail. Looks great. Under here is nothing much, just some branding. Uh, knee pads. No articulation here. Just, uh. Yeah, so, um, we'll just look at the arms real fast. Pretty much the same thing. So yeah, this figure is really sleek, not a lot of articulation, but we'll get into that right now. So th what she does have is a, is a head that is fully articulated on a ball joint. You can put it down, up, and fully rotate it. Um, arms could go out this much, in, forward, back. We could bend, I'll use this arm, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, ball joint wrists. And that is about it. And uh, you can rotate the shoes. And that's it for articulation. So she really can't do much. In terms of accessories, she comes with her bow, which is uh, 
nice detail, nice metallic finish to it. Very futuristic looking. Very cool. And then she comes with three arrows, which is here. Whoa. You can see my hands back there, the reflection. So, um, pretty sweet. So she comes with three of those. But unfortunately, the thing that was a big letdown is that she doesn't come with a, um, a quiver, which is the thing that holds the arrows in the back. So what's the point of giving us all these arrows if you can't put it anywhere? And she definitely has a quiver in the film. So it's really hard to see why they wouldn't give her a quiver. Uh, I don't know. So for a quick size comparison, I'll bring Katniss in from the first film. And you'll see the difference here in the sculpt. Um, you can see that going from the first movie is a little bigger. Um, obviously, she's a lot more detailed. But you see, her skin is much more tan compared to this Katniss. Um, different bow, different arrows, things like that. So that's just a quick comparison here. And unfortunately you can't really get too many cool poses out of her. She can't hold the arrow like if she's aiming. She can't do anything like that, which kind of stinks. So let's move on to the next part of this review. We have the Catching Fire Mocking J pin from NECA as well, which is uh, works as any other ordinary pin. We have great sculpt here, great detail classic pin thing you just pinch these and it comes out put it anywhere Whoa, I'm a mess today complete mess pretty sweet if you want to see the one from the, uh, the first film it's actually gold but the lighting makes it look uh, chrome silver um, so NEC is doing a good job with these um, I'm glad I have both of them. And yeah, that about wraps this up. I'll probably only get Katniss in this line. Um, she's the really only one I really want. Um, Finnick and Peter are both out. Peter looks pretty good, the head sculpt. Finnick, uh, not so much. But I'm sure you could find another review on those from YouTubers out there. But here's just your Katniss review. So I hope you enjoyed this figure review. I hope you enjoyed the book and the movie, or else I'm pretty sure you did, or you wouldn't be watching this review right now. <laughs> but um, everyone, Thanksgiving just passed, so happy Thanksgiving for you Americans, and I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, and make sure your name doesn't get called for the Hunger Games. I'll see you guys later.